In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at how you would take the derivative of logarithms. The main formula that we're going to be using is the derivative of the natural log of u, where u is a function of x, and that derivative would be found by taking u prime over u. Okay, so we'll do about four examples here uh, with different scenarios and how you might apply this derivative. All right, let's say our original function here is f of x equals natural log of x squared plus 1. All right, if I let my u be the inside part of this natural log function, all right, so then I'm going to let u equal that x squared plus 1. All right, then I can take the derivative of that, so u prime would be a 2x. So I've done all my calculations right there. So implementing that formula, f prime of x is going to be u prime over u. Well, u prime is 2x, and my u that I chose was the x squared plus 1. Okay, so a relatively straightforward derivative um, calculation there. Now, uh, to begin with here, I did show the writing down, let u equal, and then the u prime calculations. When it's um, a function that is this simple, all right, I, there's no need to really write this down unless you just have to um, in order to be able to see the formula. All right, so um, let's take a look at this function over here. We've got f of x equals x times the natural log of x. All right, in this scenario, I do have a product going on there, so I have to implement product rule when I do this. All right, so um, f prime of x would be the first, which is x, times the derivative of the second, so d dx of the natural log of x, and then plus the second term, natural log of x, times the derivative d dx of that first term. All right, now let's go through and actually do some of those derivatives. This will be an x. All right, and then let's see if we can do this without writing u and u prime down. All right, my u would be x right there. The derivative of x is 1, so 1 over x, u prime over u, plus natural log of x. And then right here, the derivative of x is just a 1. Okay, now if we're going to clean that up a little bit, x times 1 over x, that will give me a 1 there, plus... 1 times anything is just itself, so natural log of x. All right, so on that one, pretty straightforward derivative there. All right, now let's take um, a look at two other examples. All right, in this example right here, we've got f of x equals natural log of x, all of that raised to the third power. All right, this is going to be an example of chain rule because I can pull the 3 down in front and then take the derivative of that inside function. All right, so f prime of x. All right, pulling down the 3 in front for the chain would be 3, and then leaving this inside alone, natural log of x raised to the second power times the derivative of the inside, so d dx of natural log of x. Okay, so this first part right here is going to stay as it is, so 3 natural log of x squared. All right, now I want to implement my formula, u prime over u. All right, so the derivative of x is going to be 1 over my original u, which will be an x. If I was going to clean that up, maybe make the answer look a little nicer, I might do 3 times the natural log of x quantity squared all over x as a final answer. All right, now on this one, um, it's going to be helpful if we rewrite this function using our laws of exponents or laws of logarithms before we start to differentiate. So let's write that down here. Rewrite using laws of logs. Okay, so and then here, let's even say before differentiating. Okay, so um, I'm going to take this x plus 1 square root and I'm going to write it in exponential form. So I am still working with f of x, so we'll put f of x equals natural log x plus 1 raised to the 1 half power. 
Okay, and then we have a rule in logs that says we can pull that down in front right there. So rewriting that again, f of x is equal to 1 half natural log x plus 1. All right, now at this point, um, I can now ready to take the derivative because I've simplified this using my laws of logarithms. Um, I can do product rule on this if I want, okay, because it's a one-half times this quantity right here. But hopefully you can see that, you know, this is a constant, and so when you take the derivative of that, that's going to be zero. That second term is going to fall out. All right, but let's go ahead and work it as that. That is a constant multiplier rule, so you can just leave it out in front and take the log as well. Um, derivative as well. So f prime of x. Let's go ahead and do it as a product so that you can see that second term is just going to fall out because I've got a constant right there. So this would be the first times the derivative of the second, so d dx of that natural log of x plus 1 plus the second part of that, natural log x plus 1 times the derivative there of that 1 half. So right there, that's where you're going to get zero. This whole term is going to drop out because it's going to be zero. All right, so let's take some derivatives in here, one half. All right, now derivative of this. So u prime over u, derivative of this would be a one all over the original u, which would be x plus one, plus natural log x plus one times the derivative of one half, which is zero. All right, so this whole entire term falls out. And if I simplify this, I could do 1 over 2 times the quantity of x plus 1. And you could even distribute that 2 if you wanted to. All right, so there's about four examples using those derivatives of logarithms, implementing with all other log, um, all other derivative rules you might know, okay? So such as chain rule or quotient rule or product rule, all of those other derivative um, rules still apply. This was just implementing the new derivative of a logarithm. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.